Hey guys, welcome back to Learn App. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss with you how to split text into two columns in Canva. So if you're interested, let's start the tutorial. Now you might be wondering how do you split your text here into two columns in Canva. Well, splitting them is fairly easy. There's actually two methods that you can try here. So first is via the default way here is by just adding your text. So just adding your text here is very easy. Go to your left side here, go to text, and you wanna go and choose the size. So for example, I wanna say add a little bit of body text here with the size that we wanna use, and you wanna go and reposition them. Now usually there's going to be some margins that you could refer to here. So you could go ahead and basically resize them. As you can see, there's the center, uh, center section here. You can go ahead and de decrease this a bit, as you can see right now. And once you've done that, you could go and just start, start typing whatever you want here. So just to give you an idea, I'm going to get a low, uh, text here or sample text so we could use. So maybe I want to copy this one. I want to go and paste it in here. And as you can see, we now have our column. Now, the thing with this one is what you need to do next is you just need to copy the column that you have here. So in this case, you want to go ahead and copy this one. So make sure that you don't have the typing icon in it. So make sure that you select the actual element here. And you want to go ahead and select this ones only copy control C on your keyboard and you want to go ahead and select your board or your uh, canvas here just paste it and you want to move this at the very end here so make sure it's going to be at the very end so that you have it evenly spaced out which in this case you could go and just type in whatever text that you want to do but the thing with this one is you don't necessarily have a lot of options on editing this one so what if you have a lot of pages that you want to edit for this one and you could just you can't just manually edit everything in here well what you could do here is you could actually use tables so let's go ahead and add a new page here just to give you an example and what we need to do here is we need to look or add a table so go to the left side here you want to go to elements to want to scroll down a bit here you have your tables go ahead and click on see all and choose your table format so let's go and choose this one and in here what we need to do is we need to edit a few things so let's go ahead and click on this one and we want to use the appropriate one so let's choose this one so let's go ahead and change a few things here now in here you could just basically delete the other columns if you have uh if you want to delete them so you could go ahead and select it and select the columns or cells that you want to delete but to make things a lot easier for you i would recommend you to do the following so you need to press a, a certain key on your keyboard which is a forward slash next to the shift key on your keyboard so go ahead and just press on it and you should be able to see the search anything here just type in table and from here let's go and click on add table let's go and choose two by one here which is the one that we're looking for you can go and resize this into your canvas and make sure that you're within the actual margin so in this case you'll just go ahead and reposition it this way so it's within the margins and make sure it actually snaps now in this case you could go ahead and change a few things in here if you want to so in this case you could go ahead and choose the border here if you want to make it outside only or inner borders only the border styles here if you want to remove the borders so that you don't actually see it when you're uh, doing a few other things here so it's actually just invisible so in this case let's go and reduce this one to 12 and maybe let's go and copy this one and also this one let's go and make this 12 as well and from here on before you start adding text I recommend you to right click on the page you just edited and just basically duplicate the page here so in this case what you need to do is you just need to paste your text here as you can see we have our text and just please start typing if you want to and you could go ahead and do whatever you want so yeah so the great thing about this one is the actual text is just invisible so as you can see right now it's invisible if you want to change a few things obviously there's a lot of things that you could do like table spacing here you can add a like, table spacing as you can see right now you have the cell spacing if you want to increase or decrease them as you can see but yeah so hopefully this video is able to help you like and subscribe to your lineup thank you for watching